Hey guys, what's up? All right, incoming talking head video, so be prepared, but this is important. You might want to hear this if you have legend problems. Legend problems. If you are having legend issues when it comes to being chattery after an update from 111 on, listen to this video. I've been doing some research. I've been talking with some other people um, on Facebook and everywhere else. There is a issue. There is a issue that is not substantiated by Nocta as of yet. If it will, I don't know. The update tool installs very old drivers for the USB ports on your computer. So you might be asking, John, what the hell is a driver? All right, let me explain what a driver is really, really quickly. A driver is a piece of software that allows a piece of hardware on your computer to communicate with Windows 10, 11, whatever operating system that you're running, okay? So example, you have a webcam, you plug the webcam in, there needs to be some sort of, dr of software that allows that webcam to communicate with the operating system of the computer, whether that be Mac OS, Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows 7, doesn't matter. They have to be able to talk to each other. That's what a driver is. This is a Windows 10, and probably a Windows 11 problem. If you have a Mac OS and you've ran the update with a Mac OS, a MacBook, MacBook Pro, whatever it is, it doesn't have the issue, okay? If you have a Windows 10 computer, Windows 7, Windows 11, you most likely already have this problem if you've tried to update the legend. The legend package that you download from the website has a very old driver version for the USB ports. How does this happen? Well, this happens when a driver package, it was never updated. It was never updated to the newest version. You can download the newest versions. I'm putting all the links that you have to download in the description. I'm gonna put instructions on how to manually update the driver in the description. Now you're probably asking, what does this have to do with the legend being chattery? Well, when you try to upload a new firmware into the legend, whether it's 111, 113, Whatever the case is, it does not transfer correctly. The actual firmware does not move onto the legend properly. In turn, gives you the chattery, unstable conditions. Now, this issue started when 1.11 got released. So, if you've had 1.11 and you're like, ah, oh, it's really chattery, I'm moving back to 109, it's too late. The issue is already there. If you try to downgrade to 109 with the same driver versions and you don't do anything about the drivers for your USB ports, the issue follows you. Okay, this is very interesting. If you've watched my videos of me talking about the legend chattery problems and the being unstable, you'll notice that I always said after a month, after three months, after four months, the legend would start to display this weird behavior. And that's because I was updating. I was updating the firmware to either 1.10 and then 11 and then 13. I've updated every single machine I've had. I have never updated Amy's machine. Amy's machine came with 1.11 from the factory. I never touched it. So that makes total sense. And that is why I believe the machine starts to behave erratically once I updated. I've tried going back to 109, to 110, to 111. I've tried going back and forth and the issue followed me. And that's because the package installs the wrong outdated USB driver. So again, I'm putting all the instructions in this description on step-by-step -step on how to manually update the USB drivers on Windows 10. Uh, this would work on Windows 11 as well. It's the same process. If you have a Mac OS, it's not needed. Mac OS already has the newest drivers. There's a good chance if you've updated your legend via Mac OS, you don't have this issue and you probably don't have the instability either. I'm willing to bet. Post in the comments if that's the case. If you've updated on a Mac OS and your legend runs perfectly smooth, that just validates what I'm telling you. Now, I want to put a disclaimer here. I am not 100% certain this is the problem. But after tests other people have done, this seems to be the issue. Delic has been made aware, Nocta has been made aware, and that might even be why they wanted to see my machine in Turkey. They, they're taking my machine to Turkey to figure it out and have the engineers look at it. So maybe that's all part of it, I don't know. All I'm saying is this is not substantiated by Nocta. This is substantiated by people in the field who were tired of having to deal with this. And I 
happened to talk to some of them and now I may or may not have a solution for you. There you go. So check the description down below. Look at the instructions. They're not too complicated. If you're not super tech savvy, maybe get someone who's a little more tech savvy to help you. The download link for the newest drivers is also in the description. Follow them, run the legend tool again, and re-update your legend to whatever version you want. Once you do that USB driver fix, any update you go to is fine. One, one, uh, one nine, one ten, one eleven, one thirteen, because then it's fixed and you can go back and forth as many times as you want. So try it out if it fix your issue let me know if it doesn't well no harm no foul it doesn't do anything it's not going to harm your computer or your device in any way it's just an updated driver so if the driver doesn't doesn't help you at all then it is what it is but if it does i want to know comment on the video on this post just let me know if it helped or did not help appreciate you guys